In this lesson, I would like to talk about methods of column attachment and how it affects cutting of this element. I have drawn some simple structural columns and simple sloped roof that this column will be attached to. I am in a south elevation, now I select one of the columns and click on Attach Top Base um, Tool. I usually went straight to pointing to the object that this structural column will be attached to, but uh, there are some interesting options below ribbon that we will now explore. Firstly, we can decide whether we want to modify top or base of column. Next, we have attachment style. Here we can choose whether we, can, we want to cut column, cut target or do not cut anything. And lastly, attachment justification where we can choose between these three options, minimum, midline and maximum intersection. I will select maximum intersection with attachment style cut column and now I click on this roof. Although there was a setting cut column enabled, we can see that this roof is not cutting our column and that's not our goal. We want this column to be cutted just like this uh, bottom plane of this roof. So we have to do mm, this trick with reference plane because these options work with this, uh, with this tool. Now I will draw some simple reference plane by picking lines. I select the bottom of this roof and go, go back to this attachment option. Cut column, maximum intersection. Now I select reference plane. And as you can see, now the column is being cut. To see it clearly, I will hide temporarily this roof, hide element, and now you can see the difference between these two elements. Now when we know that such option exists in Revit, uh, I would like to emphasize why we should use this. Uh, I have drawn some six wooden columns and also a reference plane. Yeah, I usually cut this column in such a way that I went straight to modify tab and from geometry selected cut tool. I selected column, selected reference plane and simple as that column is cut. I will cut this tree column using uh, attachment option. I can select three of them and do it much more faster. And as you can see, the final effect looks the same. But the problem starts when we want to shadow these columns. I added comments to properties of these columns. So three of them have comments cut and three of them have comments attached. I've done this because I want to differentiate these columns on shadow and I created some simple structural column shadow and as you can see there is a column tab visible and uh, let's look at the length parameter. Columns that were uh, cutted with uh, this tool we can find on geometry modify tab are all have same length 4000 millimeters columns that were cut with attach options have three different value and it seem to be um, correct as we can see that these columns are cut with this sloped plane so what happened with this cutted column these cutted columns still think that they are connected to level 2 and don't, uh, don't know that uh, they are actually much more shorter. When we uh, used attached top base, also the top offset value changed, so now the total length is calculated correctly. As you can see on the scattered column, top offset is still Mm, it still equals zero. So it is very important to 
remember um, how to use these two options.